What is up everybody, Patrick here again, and today I'll show you how to buy a domain name and link it to your website. Now, if you saw my previous video, you were able to follow those steps and quickly create a website of your very own and have it live on the internet for everybody to see. Now, at the end of that video, I did mention how the only caveat was that you're using a default Wix domain name. So if you're trying to create a website for your business or brand, it's not as professional for a random URL versus a custom domain name titled after your business. And today I'll show you exactly how to do that. And we'll do it on the platform that I showed you in the previous video, Wix.com, which is of course an online website building platform that gives you thousands of templates at your disposal to work with and an intuitive drag and drop editor to take those templates and turn them into the creative vision that you're looking for. So of course, I'll include a link down in the description for you to head over to Wix.com so you can follow along and get your own domain name today. So let's jump right in and get you hooked up with your domain name. Okay, so the very first thing that we'll want to do is head over to Wix.com and from the homepage, we can hit either get started or sign in. Since I already have an account, I'll hit sign in and I'll log in using my credentials. But if you don't already have a Wix account, you can hit the sign up button from the login window and then enter your email, password, and uh, confirm that password and hit sign up and you'll be good to go. That will take you to a window where you can then start creating your website. So let me just log in real quick. And I'm now logged in. This takes me directly to the My Sites page where I can choose from one of my pre-existing websites that I've already made on my Wix account. Now, if you haven't made a Wix site before, logging in and signing up will take you directly to a page where you can start building your first website. Now, I've made several other videos about using Wix before, and you can check them out on our channel. And in my previous video, I actually made a brand new site called Fashion Blog, which I'm going to use for this. So I'll hit select and edit site, and this will bring up that website in the Wix editor. Now, in the video that I first created this page, I was showing you how to host a website. I went from absolutely nothing to a hosted website live online for anybody to see within just a matter of minutes. Now clicking on the site will bring you to your Wix dashboard where you can then hit site actions and then edit site. Now this will bring you directly into the Wix editor. Now, as I said before in that previous video, you were shown how to get that website up and going, but you weren't shown how to give it a custom domain name. So that's kind of one of the biggest things about a website is you can have the most gorgeous looking professional website that has all of the interactivity you could ever dream of, but if it's with a random URL or domain name, no one is ever going to find it or care to find it because it will look suspicious. Having a random domain name can look like it's potentially hazardous or it just looks sloppy. So we're going to give my fashion blog a custom domain name. So we're going to go up to the top bar where you see Wix and head over to settings. Hovering over any one of these will show you the window that pops up respective to that setting tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there is an upgrade function, but the very top one is connect a domain. So you can choose a memorable online domain for your business or personal website. So we'll click on connect domain and this will bring open a brand new window that is the dashboard for this specific website and opens the settings for this website. Now this is where we can connect an outside domain that we may have bought through a third party or we can buy a new domain directly through Wix and that's what I'm gonna do today. So hit the buy a new domain button and we're going to search for our domain name. So always make sure you've got a memorable domain name but it's relevant to the content of your website. You don't want something like Jeff's Kitchen associated with the mechanics website. That just doesn't make sense. And there's so many different subtleties that you could go into, but these are just generalities. It's always fun to think of different domain names for your website, but actually applying them to your website is a different thing because maybe I think wired.com is a great idea, but that website's taken. You can search in any domain name you can think of, and then hit the search button and it will search the entire internet for an existing domain to make sure that there's no duplicate. So I hit search and you can tell that wired.com is not available, but it gives me other options for it. So I could get wired.store, evolving.biz, rounded.info, and so on and so forth. And these are all based off of the general idea of the domain name I initially submitted. So we're actually going to change this to 
patricksfashion.com. Let's see if that's available. And after typing that in, of course, hit search. And you can see patricksfashion.com. Make sure that's spelled correctly. Always make sure it's spelled correctly, especially if you have a longer or more complicated domain name. If it's not spelled correctly and you end up buying it, you are now stuck with a domain name that isn't even spelled correctly and that just takes away from the professionalism you were trying to add by customizing your domain name. But when you've confirmed that it's spelled correctly, that this is in fact 100% the domain name that you want, you can go ahead and click the get it button. Now this will prompt you with a new window asking you to either upgrade now and get a free domain voucher, or you can just buy the domain name directly. Now, if you do buy it directly, note that you'll still have to upgrade your site in order to assign it. So what we'll do here is just go ahead and hit upgrade now and the upgrade now button takes us to an entire upgrade window that gives you all of the listing for the available plans now i'm going to be using just a basic website for this because it's nothing more than a fashion blog i don't need anything fancy so i'll go ahead and just select combo for personal use and then from here i can select my billing cycle so i can choose three years, two years, yearly, or monthly. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it at yearly. So this way I can just pay for it a year in advance and not have to worry about it for 365 days. And obviously this scales up. So if you've got a business URL or domain name or website, buying it for three years really takes care of the problem of having to worry about it. On top of that, you also get savings for buying in bulk. So whenever you're happy with that selection, go ahead and hit continue to check out and you're ready to complete your purchase. All you have to do is confirm your payment info and then submit purchase and you're good to go. And this will automatically connect the domain to your website so you don't have to worry about trying to finagle something in the settings like you do when you're trying to connect a third party domain. So Wix just integrates everything into one fluid suite of tools and gives you the power to get creative and not have to worry about the technical aspect of things. And now your website has a custom domain name that helps set it apart from the hundreds of other sites out there that have a, just a random URL and it gives you that brand recognition so customers, visitors, or fans can easily find your website. So if you didn't follow along but you now know what you're doing, go ahead and click on that link down in the description to head over to Wix.com and get your domain today. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for other helpful videos just like this one. And let me know down in the comments what your domain name was. What was the domain name that you got today and got it hooked up to your website? So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.